Hey, you got her on there, Red Giant? Yeah, go ahead. Well, that's a mighty long rig you're running there. Uh, what are you up to? Well, total length is 93 foot. Headed down here to Wildwood, Florida to the truck show down here, and then uh, I'm headed over to Travel Centers of America to get my fuel, and then I'm headed down to Miami from there. Well, 10 4. What are you going to do there in Miami? Going to visit with a couple companies down there and uh, do a little bit of advertising at an event down there. Well, that's a mighty fine looking rig. Uh, tell me about it. Well, it's a 430 inch wheelbase diamond reel. It's got two 11 by 6 foot LED screens, and it's made mostly for advertising purposes. So I got a four and a quarter cat with an 18 speed, and I have uh, 308 rear ends in here. How many drive shafts do you got there? There are six drive shafts in here, five carrier bearings, and 12 view joints out of 10 4. Well, somebody spends a lot of time greasing there, right? Yeah, 10 4. I got that. Now tell me about that second axle you got there. Well, that's a pushable steer axle, and that is built actually to stay on the ground because my tractor is 43,000 pounds alone. 10 4. So you're saying that that, uh, that tire steers where the front tire steers? Yeah, it follows the front steer axle in forward and reverse. Uh, S&J built the chassis, everything front to back on here, and I'll tell you, they did a fantastic job. And I would, I would suggest S&J truck sales in Fort Wayne, Indiana for any stretch frame on their truck. And who built that bunk there for you? Oh, uh, ICT built the sleeper on it. How many inches is the sleeper? Uh, the sleeper is a 252 inch sleeper. It's got uh, 16 foot slide outs. They slide out about 24 inches, 20 to 24 inches on each side. A car restoration in Reedsville, Wisconsin actually stretched the cap part of it for me and customized the hood and some of the 1929 Lincoln Continental headlights they installed on here. Well, I've asked you a whole lot of things except for who are you and where do you go by on the radio? Well, my name is Brian and I go by the Fight Doctor on the radio because I'm a big time boxing fan. 10 4. 10 4. What are you carrying at their trailer? I'm running empty all the time. The only thing I would actually put in the trailer is a golf cart and a uh, portable generator or my own personal car once in a while. I had this truck built brand new in 1990 and then, well, I started advertising, doing a little bit of pay-per-view fights and stuff like that. And then I decided, well, advertising was where it was at. I'm trying to create a job where I get paid for sitting instead of driving down the highway. So that's where the advertising comes in. 10 4, that sounds like a smart move on your part. All the trucks that run on the road, they're moving billboards. With these two LED screens on here, I can do multiple customers on each board. If I get 20, 25 advertisers on each board at an event, I can charge a little bit and be very effective because I can go right to the audience for the customer. What type of media can you play on those screens? I can do still ads, I can do live TV, Blu ray, DVD. Um, I can do just about anything. I've done small things like fights and football games, you know, in parking lots. And most of the time it's for playing movies to the event. Let me have a Diablo sandwich, a Dr. Pepper, make a fast. I'm going to go. When we do things at outside events, it's like a drive-in theater. Is there a place where someone can go if they're looking to, to advertise with you? Real, R-E-O, mobile, M-O-B-I-L-E, media, M-E-D-I-A, dot com. Real, mobile, media, dot com. Hey, so Brian, do you have a preference on why you choose TA over other places? I choose uh, TA or the petrol because the last year full service truck stops out here and they're always willing to go the distance for the driver. I mean, they've been put in exercise rooms, basketball courts, walking trails, and they always have good food, so that's the reason why I stopped there. Well, 10 4, that's a good enough reason. Brian, it's been great riding alongside you, uh, getting to learn about uh, the old Diamond Rio and what you do. We'll catch you down the road. You have a good day. And we'll see you soon.